subscribe, and hit the bell icon. The Smooth Coated Otter. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great. Let's see who can jump the highest on this trampoline. I'll show you. All you have to do is jump as high as you can, like this. Ta-da! Now it's your turn, Hero. <laughs> Very good, Hero. Woohoo! Wah! Hey! I think it's a baby otter. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the adder as we speak. There you go. This little one is a smooth-coated otter. So, it has a smooth coat? Yes, that's exactly how it gets its name. A smooth-coated otter is a type of otter that has shorter and smoother fur. They also have a rounder head and a hairless nose that looks quite like the shape of a diamond. Where do they come from? Smooth-coated otters live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Cool! I wonder what kind of food it eats. Smooth-coated otters usually eat plenty of fish, but it's an omnivore, which means it can eat different types of plants and small animals, too. Hmm, I'm afraid it won't find all that food here. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby otter would love that. See you downstairs. like the only way to get to that river is to cross this one. No problem. Come on, everyone. Thanks, Leo. Now we can get to the other side in no time. Right, little guy? We're gonna find your family very soon. Look, we're getting closer. <coughs> What's the matter, hero? Oh no, the little guy's in danger. We have to save it from those crocodiles. I got you two. <laughs> They're still chasing us. We'll have to go faster. Leave it to me. <laughs> Watch out for those rocks, Katie. We made it. Looks like they won't be chasing us anymore. Excellent. We did it! We found the baby otter's family! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! Today, 
We found a baby smooth-coated otter in our garden. We learned that the smooth-coated otter lives in places with lots of fresh water and greenery. So we went to a river by the forest and found its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Orca. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look at my digital voice recorder, Hero. I'm recording the chirping of birds. Do you hear that? That's the first sound I recorded. I think it comes from a sparrow. Let's try to record more birds. Listen, there's another bird. What a beautiful song it is singing. Do you hear that, Hero? I've never heard that sound before. What bird makes such a sound? Let's find out. What is it here? <gasps> Whoa! Hello, Junior Ranger. Ranger Rocky, what are you doing here? I rescued this orca, and I'm on my way to release it in the sea. Perhaps you Junior Rangers would like to join me. We would love to, Ranger Rocky. Let's surprise my sister, Katie. She is also a Junior Ranger. Let's take a photo of the orca and send it to her. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. It seems that orcas are also called killer whales. However, they are actually more closely related to dolphins than whales. People also call them wolves of the sea because orcas like to hunt in packs, just like wolves do. Orcas can be found in all oceans of the world. Orcas from different areas eat different types of food. Some hunt for fish, some prefer squid, and others eat seals or sharks. The orca that Ranger Rocky rescued comes from New Zealand, and orcas there mainly eat sharks and stingrays. The New Zealand orcas may become endangered because there are fewer than 200 of them left. Maybe that's why Ranger Rocky is taking the orca home. I'm really excited to join Ranger Rocky and take the orca back home. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Look, there's something on the beach. It's an orca. Oh no. We have to act quickly or it will die. I've informed the whale rescuers. They have equipment to lift beach whales and orcas back into the water. Do we just wait here for them? It might take too long for the rescuers to arrive. Do you have any spades? Yes, yes we, do. we do! Great! We'll dig a hole under each of the orca's flippers so that they can hang freely. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Is this deep enough, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's good, Leo. Now we need to fill these holes with seawater. Here, use these buckets. Okay, Ranger Rocky. Excellent, Junior Rangers. Now we have to place wet towels over the orca to keep it wet and cool. We'll make sure these towels are wet, Ranger Rocky. Now, we'll pour water on the towels to keep them wet. We just need to be careful not to get any water into the orca's blowhole, because the orca breathes through it. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Ranger Rocky, the rescue team is here. Great! They will take care of this orca. Let's continue on our journey to find our orca's home. We did it! 
We found the orca a home. Great job, everybody. Ranger Rocky rescued an orca from captivity. We learned that orcas need to live freely in the ocean. So we joined Ranger Rocky and brought the orca back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Eastern Spotted Skunk. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes, it's in. Woohoo! Let's get the ball, hero. What? Ah, what's this? <laughs> you brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off but the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we better be careful with this skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm, we should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Katie, there's a coyote on your side. <gasps> nice coyote. Katie! Get away from my sister! At least it got away from Katie. <laughs> the skunk! Maybe it can chase the coyote away. Skunk. Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, Skunk. Goodbye, Skunk. We did it. We found a home for the Eastern Spotted Skunk. Good work, everybody. Hooray! Yay! an eastern 
spotted skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Australian Pelican. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You want to play with this ball, Hero? Okay, you stand over there and I'll throw it. Then you try to catch it. Okay, Hero, are you ready? Catch! Well done, Hero. Let's do that again. Here I go. Oops, that was too high. It must be behind the bushes. Hey, what a funny looking bird. It has such a large beak. It caught the ball. It must fit a lot in that beak. I wonder what type of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? You're just in time, Leo. Look, this bird is called an Australian pelican. They have the largest beak in the world. They also have huge wings when they are spread out. So they live in Australia? Correct. And in parts of Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. They like to live around water. The pelican in our garden looks very small. Is it a baby? It's not a baby, but it's still very young. It might still need its parents to feed it. This young Australian pelican might be looking for its parents. Let's take it home. I'm joining you, Leo. See you downstairs. I'll jump in and find out what's going on. Great idea, Leo. There's a fishing line wrapped around the pelican's foot, and the other end of it is stuck in the rocks. Hero! Hero has snapped the line. Great work, Hero. Come on, Pelican. Let's get you out of here. You're a hero, Hero. Look, Leo. The Pelican's foot got entangled in this. <gasps> People really shouldn't be throwing things like that into the sea. A lot of sea creatures have been hurt by rubbish being thrown in the water. You're right, Katie. I'm glad the Pelican is all right. Now let's take it home. Katie, look! There are two big pelicans coming towards us. It's the young pelican's parents. They recognize it. We did it! We found the pelican's home and its parents. Great work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> We 
found an Australian pelican in our garden. We learned that pelicans live near water. So we took the young pelican home and reunited it with its parents. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The California sea lion. Yes. Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, I'm gonna score. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, almost. Oh, you've got my basketball. Wow, you're really good. Bravo! Hmm. This animal looks like the sea lions I've seen at the zoo performing tricks. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, so what did you find? Hi Leo, you were right. The animal you found is a sea lion and this one is a California sea lion. California sea lions are intelligent, have good memories, and learn fast. That's why they are often taught to perform tricks at zoos. Someone must have taught this sea lion to juggle balls. California sea lions can do a lot more than that. They're so clever that the United States Navy uses them in missions. California sea lions have been taught by the Navy to perform tasks like picking up underwater objects. That's so cool. So what do they eat? California sea lions mainly eat fish and squid. They come from the west coast of North America and live on rocky or sandy beaches. The sea lion is a wild animal and it needs to live by the ocean. Then let's go there and find the sea lion's home. Come and join us. Let's do that, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Hmm, I don't think we'll be able to get across these rocks It might be easier if we travel over the water <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it Help! Do you hear that, Katie? It sounds like someone in trouble. Help me! I hear it too. Over there, at the rocks. Someone is in the water. We have to help him. I'm on it. I can't get close enough. The waves are too strong. If we're not careful, we might hit the rocks. No, Hero. It's also too dangerous for you. The young sea lion wants to help. That's not a bad idea, because sea lions are great swimmers. Leo, your rope. Good idea, Katie. Here, sea lion, catch. Go, sea lion. <laughs> now let's pull. We got you, mister. Well done, sea lion. Goodbye. Goodbye. The sea lion must be calling out to its mother. We did it. We united the sea lion pup with its mother. Great job, everybody. Yay! We found a young California sea lion in our garden. We learned that the California sea lion is very intelligent 
and can be trained very easily. We also learned a sea lion pup needs to be with its mother. So we took the sea lion pup back home where we reunited it with its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.